Hello, Spanish Fork. If you're tired of the same old salad as a side for your meal, you need to stay tuned. How about Southern Style Collard Greens? Southern Style Collard Greens by Kaylin Hall is coming up next on Spanish Fork 17's cooking show, brought to you by Macy's, the happy shopping store in Spanish Fork. Welcome everyone. We are here again at Cooking Made Easy with June brought to you by Macy's. And we have this awesome guy over here again. <laughs> Kalen Hall. And he's a, the coach, the head coach of the Spa Maple Mountain High School football team. And it's so exciting. It's been so fun this year. Kalen? Yes. It's been so awesome. Yes, I love watching you guys. You get so excited. Oh, yeah. So you're running out there and the refs are like, mm. <laughs> it's so fun. I love football. Yeah. We all love football. Yeah. But um, anyway, so I, you know, I've known you for a long time. Yeah. And so I, you know, and I decided to say, you know what? Kalen makes some really, you brought over some collard greens. Mm -hmm. And I'm not a big fan. I, I like Southern food and yeah. I like it, but I don't love it until you brought yours. Yeah. And even Steve was like, wow, <laughs> this is so good. Yeah, so yeah. that's why we're like, let's make collard greens. Yeah. And so, um, so tell us, I mean, uh, let's start out with, uh, tell us, what do, what do we need to start off with? So, so basically, again, uh, this is a comfort food, right. it's a side dish, right. uh, it's a vegetable, okay? Yeah. And it's, so it's, good. <laughs> it's somewhat good for you, but not with all of this added into it. But, but uh, if you look at keto, though, yeah, okay, a yeah. keto person could have this, yeah, because yeah. it's no sugar. It's sure the fat, but keto yeah. people eat fat and everything, right? Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. <coughs> so let me go ahead. <coughs> so um, basically, we have the ingredients for this is you have the collard greens, like already the chopped. Yep, already chopped. But you the can bag. you can buy them in the bundles and roll them and chop them up. But why do that when someone else has already done it? Right. For but you? I do have some. Maybe we should cut a, a little bit. Yeah, Show them how to go yeah. get it. Go ahead and talk. Yeah. Go ahead. So what do we then start we have uh, an onion, one full onion that will be sauteed. Uh, we have bacon, thick cut hickory smoked bacon. Then we have a ham bone and or a ham hock. I usually like to use a ham hock, but sometimes ham hocks are really hard to find. You know, you yeah. can uh, you know go to your butcher and ask them if they have any. And sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. It just all really depends. So so, so what do you mean by rolling it up? I know you don't so, you use the chopped. But you don't yeah, eat this no, part. No. So basically, okay. you know, if you're going to cut these right. from the bundle, you cut <laughs> off the ends. Okay. You cut inside. All right. Oh, you don't have that either. Ew, throw that oh, out. Oh, golly. So this is like. In Thailand, we would eat all this. Yeah, no, that's way too much work. Uh -uh. <laughs> so this, this, like I said, this is way too much work, but this is how you do them. <laughs> Get rid of these here. Those stems get thrown away. Okay, okay, okay. Let's talk. So, let's talk about the ham hock. Now yeah. I know that you told me all about the ham hock. I'm like, yep. what the heck? I, I, I now I know I didn't start it until, you know, a couple of days before the show. But I thought, you know, I can just go find it. But I couldn't. Mm -mm. I looked everywhere. And so what I ended up doing, I looked up online. The Pioneer Woman. <laughs> she said the best substitute for a ham hock is the ham bone, which is. Yeah. The ham hock, Holly sent me the picture, but anyways, the bottom leg and whatever, I wasn't sure. But they come smoked in a package. Yeah. And, um, but anyway, so what I did, um, I actually bought a whole ham and I cut off the meat and I just simmered this for an hour, like yeah. you said. Mm -hmm. And it's already smoked, so it has some smoking flavor in yep. here, but we wanted to simmer it. Yep. And I don't know, to get the bone ready. Oh, you don't want to cut, oh, now you're going to roll mm. it together. Yep. So anyway, so I was thinking, since I was looking for the ham hock, that like maybe we get ham for it once a year for Christmas or whenever you have ham. If somebody's gonna throw their ham bone, why don't you just say, hey, can I have the ham bone and freeze yeah. it? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I, I think that would last. And then we can yeah. have ham bone ready in case you can't find a ham hock. That's very yes. true, that's a good point. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do in yeah. fact, because I was thinking, oh my gosh, I can't find. Anyway, so. And, I, and honestly, I, it's, been, it's been several holidays where I wasn't able to find a ham hock. And and so did you, what did you I use? I just didn't use it. You know, it's <laughs> yeah. The flavor. I two yesterday. The flavor's not quite as good without it, but oh, yeah, yeah, it but still it's still works. good. Yeah, it okay, still works. so here you're rolling the leaves up, and you're yep. just cutting, and just because it cuts more, this is a lot of work. So instead of yeah work, you can just go to Macy's or Walmart and mm -hmm. or any store and go find some chopped collard greens. Chopped collard greens. <laughs> All this stuff is just tedious maintenance work. Which why why would you do it? 
when someone's already prepped them in the bag and they're pre-washed. Yeah, but you're good at you that. Yeah, because I've done them for too long, so it's kind of, oh. yeah, why do it if you don't so, have so to? So while you're doing that, I went ahead and, and I decided to make some grits to go with this because mm -hmm. it's a side dish show, you know? Right. So right. I thought right. I'd go ahead and boil and make some grits. And grits, oh my gosh, I, some people have never heard of grits, but we have mm -hmm. um, Benson here, one of our cameramen, he was telling me about his grits experience at his uh, sister-in-law in Georgia, they have grits, cheesy grits with their collard greens. Oh, yeah. So we're gonna just, let's see if we can do this. So anyway, so grits is just like rice compared to rice. Yeah. We, it's what, like, what are you saying? Uh, uh, malt like, mill maybe, something closer to that. Yeah, yeah <laughs> I would you, say, you know more what? so than rice. I had a Romanian lady, um, she, she came and made cabbage rolls oh, okay. and they serve hers with polenta. And I real and she was saying polenta is basically grits. Yeah. I didn't know that. That was yeah. interesting. Yeah, but the way I like to cook and eat grits is a little uh -huh. bit different. I like a lot of butter in them <laughs> and a whole lot of sugar. So. Oh, sugar! Oh yeah. I love savory grits oh, with yeah. eggs and bacon. But anyway, Absolutely. I think it's anyway. gonna be great with the collard grits. Yeah. Anyway, so, I'm gonna boil that. I'm gonna turn it down. Go ahead. No. So as June is uh, cooking the grits, uh, so you guys saw me um, cut up the. Uh, the, the batched collard greens, but okay. again, by the bag, makes it uh -huh. easier. Take the collard greens, you get your, you get your uh, water, your, actually that's chicken broth. It's not water, it's, it's eight cups broth. of chicken broth. Yep, it's... eight cups of chicken broth. <laughs> Throw your greens in there. Wow, there's a teamwork here. Uh -huh. Woo, I'm glad we had this big pot. Teamwork makes the dream work, there now, we go. Now, this looks like a lot of collard greens, but in reality, it's gonna. It's not. It's not, yeah. it's gonna shrink up like, maybe yeah. like to a third or even yep. a fourth. Yep, then you take your ham hock, ham okay. hock goes in. Yep, now the ham hock we had to simmer for about an hour. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I did that ahead and so, yep. and you need a lid for this or no? Here, here's yeah. the garbage yeah. camera put here. Put the lid on there. Okay. So we'll put the lid on there. Okay. Oops. All right, next. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take lid. our bacon. Um, how do you fire up your stove here, Junior? Is it, already it's on. On? is it on? I'll turn it on. Okay. We'll take this bacon. We'll cook this bacon. Oh. Is it heats on? Oh, you don't want to cut the bacon? No. Oh. We're okay. good. All right then. Nope. Goes on long. Long and whole. All right, let me turn that up. Mm -hmm. Goes on low. I had a bigger pan, but it wouldn't fit. Anything. Yeah, it's okay. But you want all this bacon, right? Yeah, we'll do it all. Okay. We're not all gonna fit. We'll just have to. Oh, I thought you would ch cut chunks, but no. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, so. So after we do that, bacon. maybe I'll try to slide another one on here. Yeah. So while the bacon is being cooked, we'll chop up the onion. I'm not an onion guy. Uh, my wife Holly has an onion chopper. She has an onion what? A ch <laughs> onion chopper. So. I yeah, you may have the, I can cut the onion if you're not yeah. an onion guy. I'm not an onion guy. I can cut it, but I prefer <laughs> not to. How small do you like it? Like uh, what you... Whatever you want. It don't really even matter. Oh, okay. It's up to you. So. Preference again. <laughs> it's all about the preference because ultimately this is going into greens and so you so got to eat it. So if you like them, <laughs> you don't like the big chunks of onions, don't cut the big chunks. You know what's funny? Like um, I had a, a show with a, a, a young man from uh -huh. Ga Ga Ghana. Uh -huh. And he made this ganyan, it's called ganyan stew. Okay. And there was a ton of onions. Okay. He kept adding onions. Okay. And it was really good. Oh, I love onions. It was yeah. like, whoa. Yeah. I'm an onion guy through and through. I thought you said you weren't an onion guy. You're no, still, no, I, no, no I, I don't like onion. cutting onions, but I love eating <laughs> the onions. Yeah. There's a huge difference on that one. So, so I mean, you say <laughs> that when you cook, you, you, Holly doesn't cook like she cooks. Holly cooks. No, yeah, she, but cooks she cooks a lot, but she cooks different stuff. Like for yeah. me, I like to eat certain things during the holidays, right? <clears throat> and oh, so that's right. That's where all of this stuff came from. Was like my flavor for holiday cooking, and being that I grew up eating certain things, you know what? I, I like to eat them, and I didn't, I didn't cook these things when I was um, when my kids, my older kids, were younger, right? And oh, even to yeah, the day, my boy's yeah. like, Dad, how come you didn't cook this stuff, right? How come you weren't <laughs> cooking like this when, when we were growing up? I'm like, well, you know what? At that time, I probably was more interested in uh, working and hustling yeah, than yeah. I was sitting in the house and cooking, you know, for like six hours. Because <laughs> when you cook these type of Southern Delight comfort foods, it can take southern some time. Southern Delight. <laughs> it takes some time now. I love your yeah. vocabulary. <laughs> Absolutely. Southern so, Delight. Southern and... Delight. Yep. <laughs> Do you want a tongue? Or here, here's a... 
Here's a prong for the bacon. Yeah, that's fine. Right. Way better. Okay, so um, so we're we're boiling the collard greens, and yep. how long do we boil that for? Uh, I mean, again. Again. No, it'll, it, this will take oh, a. This will take a while. This will take an hour. Is, is that on high? No, we don't have. Yeah, it's on high. Huh? Which one? Oh, wait, is it, it, oh, no, that's that. Oh, that's the one back there here. Yeah, it needs to be on high. Oh, it wasn't yeah. on high, dang it. There okay. we go. So we'll start boiling it. So we'll start boiling it. So uh, we'll we'll get it. The bacon. We're cooking the bacon. The bacon. Cooking the grits. You want to <laughs> you want to cook the bacon until it's crisp and crunchy. Oh. Yeah, it's okay. You can that's bake it if you want to bake it. it. No, you can't bake it because you need the grease. Oh, oh the that's right. The that's right. Yeah. You don't get as much grease if you bake it. Yeah, you don't yeah. get nearly as much grease. So. Now, you know what? The bacon grease is so good for oh, everything. For flavor. In Thailand, we also use bacon grease yeah. for fried rice. And yeah. that's the secret to delicious anything. It ain't good for you, but it sure is good. I gave yeah. you keto. Yeah. Hey, look. <laughs> I, for me personally, I'm into eating stuff that I like. Yeah. So. It is yeah. what it is. I'll pay, I mean, the, I'll pay the price at the gym later. How about that? <laughs> so. And honestly, I feel as I get older, I'm like, you know what? Yeah. So what? Hundred percent. Hundred percent. I mean, some. Hey, we're we are, not like crazy obese. We don't. We're not like crazy. Yeah. Oh, we yeah. eat it. Let's we eat we it. know what we like. We know our bodies at this yeah. point. And so, hey, everybody, hey, have some comfort in your food when you yeah. want to. How about that? I would rather so. eat the full calorie things once in a while than you know than not ever having it or just worry about it all the time. Honestly. Yeah. Well, so. I don't worry about it ever. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, we're yeah. finished. But anyway. Go ahead. Yeah. No. So let's... we'll just keep cooking this bacon. Okay. And then we're gonna do the onions. Gym? It is on high. It is? Okay. Yeah. So if we had a little bit of a bigger pot, like again, this type of food, <laughs> it takes a long time. It takes yeah. time to cook. Yeah. Like legitimately, uh, if we were to not accelerating the cooking process uh -huh. due to us trying to get all this in on the show, yeah. these greens could take you anywhere up to three three hours to cook. Oh my gosh. Right? Okay. It, but it's all about flavor. Flavor yeah. comes from simmering. Right. Most folks, well, a lot of folks that cook, they like to get through it, keep cooking fast, but it, nothing cooks through. And at the end of the day, if you're trying to have ultimate so, flavor, you got to cook it through. So honestly, you guys, sorry, this is not really made easy, but it's made delicious. Oh, it's, oh, it's made. <laughs> and, and it's easy, but it's, it's easy, takes a It's easy, but it takes time. a little bit of time. Yes, well, okay. It's long time is relative to what you're used to. Right, 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 right. If you're used to popping stuff in the oven, frozen, or microwave, then yeah, this is a long time. But when you cook stuff from scratch, you make stuff from scratch. Right. You're going to take a little time. Right, right, right. Yeah. So okay. the bacon's is just about done. So. Oh, that looks so good. It yeah. smells so good. Yes. <laughs> oh, and it, pop, it pops so good, too. So, okay, yeah. I'm going to start the grid. Let me check my yeah. grits. Yeah. I already yeah, put yeah. some bed butter on it. So yeah, maybe yeah. you should put some more water no, to no, make no, it thin. No, 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 no. You don't ever put water and grits. What? You don't more, want it to be no, thin? No, no. More butter, June. What the heck? Oh, hey, Southern grits is You're everything so that has cholesterol in it. Right there. <laughs> Add the butter. I'm gonna start the butter. <laughs> Add the butter. There oh we go. Oh my gosh, there's already half a cup in there. Put another half in there. It's so delightful. <laughs> your arteries okay, aren't gonna like it. To Cholesterol's not gonna like it. But you know what? Your taste buds, your flavor All savers right. are gonna be right on point. So, so on your grits, do you put cheese in it too? Yeah. Oh yeah okay, yeah, okay, I'll yeah. get some cheese. You put a little cheese in there if you want but to. But this is a lot of butter. It's a whole cup. It's in a this. whole cup, and it's delightful too. But you know what? I guess I think about it. My mashed potatoes, I cook lots of butter. Too. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the better, the more the better. But the mashed potato pot is three times as big as this. Yeah, <laughs> that is true. That is true. So you want to no, start this putting this good. in there, June? The onions. Oh, oh yes, yes. So oh, so that. we just take. I do yeah. want with this yeah. here. Yeah, yeah. Take the, okay. the bacon out. Okay. So, so we're put the bacon out. Throw the bacon on here. And now a lot of people in Ooh, our community, they probably wouldn't think to put, when you saute, they think you put a little butter in there, maybe a little olive oil, a little vegetable oil, but no. No, right all to this bacon, right here. yeah. All bacon you grease, know what? all Honestly, day. If this is the, my philosophy though with bacon, I mean with butter and margarine versus, I feel like butter is more natural. Yeah. Same with bacon fat. Yeah. You know, why, why do that, right? So Absolutely. I don't know. Absolutely. <laughs> This Justify. is the best. Justify. Huh? Hey, li hey, live a little. That's what I'm saying. Because <laughs> I tell you what, once you taste this right here, if you're not a greens fan, you will become one. Okay, There's no Kayla, doubt about come on. It. Really? This is it? No, this is it. Yeah, this I is. I mean, is that good? Oh, yeah, that's awesome. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that's, all, that's so good. That looks so good, though. You're right. Mm hmm. Throw that Do on there. <laughs> little, little cheese in there. Okay, I'll get yeah. some cheese. Little cheese. Oh my gosh. This is a collard green episode, not a saute. cheese. Not you a see, you guys all see the saute going down right here. All right, what are you doing your saute? So, here, if you nothing, can grab that's it. No, we're good. Oh, that's good? No, because we're pouring this in here. 
oh. the grease and everything. Is it ready to pour in there? Yeah, pretty quick. Yeah. Oh, okay. So. So then, uh, what I usually do is. Here, there's. No. Oh. oh, there. That's it. Okay. Why don't we eat a piece? Mm, oh, that looks so right good. ahead. I just need a little crunchy piece. Mm. So some of it Ooh, that's, that's not so good. yeah some of it that's not cooked really well. Uh -huh. You can't get the crunch in it. Mm -hmm. You have to cut okay. it up. Yeah. Usually if you if I cook it Further. well enough, yeah, yeah. it yeah. you know it definitely have that Where crunch we, to it. Do we put this in? Now? It goes all I'll, I'll in the wait till you're done. No, you throw it in there. That's fine. Oh, okay. Then we can put this in. Oh my gosh! No wonder this color is yep. so good. Because <laughs> mm -hmm, it's so bad for you. <laughs> yep. Oh my goodness! It smells so good in here. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna this here. Yep. So, now I gotta tell me now. Yeah. All right. All right. June, you wanna chop that up? Yep, I'm not, yep, yep. yeah. I'm gonna finish this here. Kayla, I'm serious. We need to get, to, we need to have a, a southern go. meal. Like, I'll, maybe I can make some fried chicken and. Yeah. Oh, but you make a good fried chicken too, though. Hey, I, I, well, I can't I, make you I, make everything. I've been known to do a little bit. <laughs> now, Steve's mom, you know, she's Southern from oh, yeah. Alabama. Oh, she yeah. makes, she just, you know what she does with her fried chicken? She just t uh, t uh, tosses it with salt, well, salt and pepper and then the um, just self rising flour. Yeah, that's not bad. And then she fries it and it's really yeah. good. But, yeah. but hey. what do you do? You season your flour. No, I season mine. I, I season. Basically, you have to have a brine, like a mustard brine sometimes. Oh, look at yeah. you. Maybe we need sometimes to have a fried chicken brine episode. You got to use a half-half uh, with uh, flour and, uh, um, oh my gosh. What? What is the Self other? Self-rising flour? No. No, no, no. It's, so it's 50-50 it's with flour, and then I always forget the other uh, Is it cornmeal? And cornstarch, excuse me. Cornstarch. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's oh. how you get that nice, that nice look, that nice br uh, bronze look to your uh, chicken. You can't do all flour, but sometimes it burns in the grease. Go ahead and leave that open, Jim. Okay. So now, you got the bacon in there. Watch out, y'all. Ah! Oh, okay. yeah. There okay. we go. You guys, this, <laughs> no wonder they're so good. <laughs> there we go. There we go. I'm oh, telling you. Oh, my gosh. Mm. Bacon. All good. Okay. <laughs> we are about to be what the heck? jettisoned to another place. I'll okay. tell you that right now. Let me go now. get a thing for the grits. Okay, now, really, this right here, the pot of greens, you take about, eh, I'd say about an hour. What'd you say? Boiling, <laughs> the greens need to boil for about an hour. Uh -huh. They boil down until they're, till they're really, really good. So it takes a little bit of time, but we don't, go, we don't need to wait that long, but we probably should. Yeah, but we're, we don't have to. We don't but, have to. You don't have but to. But normally we would. Do normally we put the cheese would. and mix it in or wait, like a topping? No, no, mix it in and go. You got to have it in the middle oh, of it. Okay, yeah. there you go. Absolutely. Yep. So is that is still this, on? Have you had dinner? I, oh, no. How much, how much do you want this? Uh, yeah, that's like probably that. good. good. I don't want too many. I'm not a big cheese fan, to be honest with you, but I do like it Let's some see, in man. some things. Which, how do you start this thing? Yeah, just okay, that up. which one is on? Good. Oh, yeah, it's on. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Okay, so so normally you would simmer it for how long? Uh, normally you'd simmer hours. this? Hours. Uh, hours, yeah. I might, I dare yeah. say at this point, I might put it in a crock pot if that's the case. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't okay. think you could do that with sweet potatoes. Yeah, but you couldn't I do think, that with sweet potatoes. But uh, I think with the collard greens you can. Yeah, you definitely could do that with the collard greens. Oh, my gosh. At this. the end of the day, uh, you want to boil it until the ham hock meat falls off the bone. That's, uh, that's the kicker, right? I mean, everyone yeah, talks about yeah. a timeline. Kind of depends on mm. the ham hock, because the that ham hock is so the one good. that needs to get cooked, so. So I, oh, oh my gosh, these sweet potatoes look so good. Now, I'm, I'm just gonna be honest, like we, we did a, the, the sweet potato segment earlier, and we didn't let it quite cook all the way, and we didn't really get to taste it, but this one, yeah, um, I think it's gonna be much better. No, it's gonna be much, yeah. much better. So yeah. I think we're gonna put some sweet potatoes in here, and then, I'm, oh my goodness, I can see this now. Yep. Maybe we can take a picture of this for the other show, you guys. <laughs> Look at that. Oh. Mm -hmm. Can we do that? Maybe you take a picture of this for the other one because this looks so different and it's amazing. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Mm -hmm. I can see the texture is different. It's been simmering for about 40 minutes or more and it looks like it's coming along. But we're, we're going to feature the uh, collard greens though, um, even though it could be longer. Yeah. And then um, let me get a plate. Let's, let's 
start to show. Okay, well, I'm doing this. Uh, Kaylin, tell me about your coaches. Oh, football. Yeah, football. football. We, we, got gotta, a lot of, we, gotta, we got a lot of coaches. I want you to, <laughs> I want you to start from the beginning. Like, what, what do you need to do? If you want to play football, what age can you start? Where do you sign up? Um, probably, and especially well, in high school. Uh, well, well, youth league. I mean, if you're, yeah. if you're into it at an early right. age, mm -hmm. right? And if that's something that, that you and your parents, well, your parents, us as parents are willing to allow our kids to do, you know, you start with uh, Maple Mountain um, Youth Football. Yeah. It's, uh, I'll let that it's a minute. magnificent organization, mm. and it starts at eight, uh, U nine, nine years old. Oh, okay. So, so they start that, that young. That's and in a city. No, no, it's, oh. just, it's a youth football. It's a nonprofit organization. Oh. So Maple Mountain Youth Football. Oh. And from okay. there, um, I didn't know that. You know, some kids start at that age, some don't. Right. I, mean, uh -huh. I had both. I had some of my kids play at very young ages, and I had another one of my kids who played pretty late in the game. It oh, all okay. depends on what you're interested in. Then if not, you know, you start, you know, ninth grade, 10th grade, when you get to the high school. But the earlier you start, the easier it is to transition because football takes a little bit of yes. moxie and toughness. And well, the mentality of hitting and yeah, all that. Yeah, all that stuff. And yeah. I know people have some negative things, but there's negative things in every Absolutely. sport. Absolutely. So yeah. I, I don't think we can, I mean, you know, we have such good experiences with football. Yeah. Um, let yeah. me get, do you want, let's put a few, a little bit in there. Yeah, we'll do And that. then I'll get a plate for us to taste or a bowl or something. So. Yeah. They're getting ready. <laughs> <laughs> They're getting ready. Yeah, I, again, I got some magnificent coaches. I got about 13 uh, coaches that uh -huh. coach with us, all from our community. Um, so they, give them some names and shout outs. Uh, and you know, Bingham Fano. Yeah, I, I know, but I'm yeah, saying that. Junior everybody... or Yuanne. Yeah, but, uh, they, but like juniors played professional football. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Bingham played. What? Junior Bingham played at the collegiate ranks. Yep. Um, you, you know, know Steve know. Williamson, your husband. Yeah. He's been a longtime friend and football yeah. fanatic for a lot of years. Oh, he's he's actually a really yeah. good. Coach. He's coached many years. Too. Oh yeah. yeah. Jerry Huffman's been around for like 13 years. Yeah. You know, Will Ortiz is a young, magnificent, bright mind. Coaches our DBs. Uh, Dominique Moe is my nephew and our defensive coordinator. Does a magnificent job. Uh, Teague Whitey, wait, Francis wait, Gibson. Wait, wait, Dominique Moe's your nephew? Uh-huh. Yeah. Wait, who's that? Oh, yeah. I'm trying to think who that you're talking about. Dominique, our D coordinator. So, oh, he's your yeah. nephew? Uh-huh, yeah. How absolutely. is he your nephew? Just because we got love like that, Jim. Oh, it's not, I, oh, I got confused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but uh, you know, so Teague Whitey and Francis Gibson, uh, Trevor Unicefa, that's our all O-line, and uh, Alex Kadutsin, those are all the old line coaches. Oh, that's right, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. He's so, so many knowledge yeah. and so much fun this last yeah, season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. you we start. Got you Alan Hakes is another one of our coaches as okay, well. Okay, okay. Coaches, linebackers. And uh, we got, uh, um, I know I'm forgetting someone. We got, uh, who, who else? Who am I? I'm forgetting somebody, Jim. I don't know. Oh, James Sr. Yeah, can't a forget lot James Sr. James Sr., he's been a magnificent addition. So, yeah, yeah we got a lot of coaches, a lot of wonderful, good people that, uh, that get it. And uh, at the end of the day, yeah. uh, we're very blessed to have all those guys to be, you know, coaching they don't really our young get paid. men. So, yeah. <laughs> Anything. <laughs> and then they Landon, get two cents an hour. <laughs> Landon McHale, also, yeah, yeah everyone. Landon McHale. Landon Ronan, oh, yeah. Okay. No one gets paid. We're all giving our time, so yeah. that's just the bottom line. Yeah. But so you guys be nice to the coaches, but it's all been right, fun. Hey, Most whether you're people. nice or not, we're gonna do what we do. So, <laughs> yeah. That's for no, sure. No, so so they do start, but what if they wanna? Like when can they actually like you said U nine? Did you already say that? Like when mm -hmm. they can start? Yeah, nine years old they get, they get started. Yeah. Okay, and then so but then um, so if they so let's say they have never played. I don't know if they yeah. would dare. No, it's it, let's say they're junior. Everyone's different. No, it's fine. They can just come out. Yeah, like, absolutely, you come when do out you, when off do season training in January. I mean, you know, oh, you don't want to start okay. playing in a high school season if you're not prepped at least by January. It gets complicated, oh, okay. you know, if you're not putting the time in and, so, you know, the demands. So January is when you want to start. Off-season training. Off-season yeah. training. Yeah, And yeah. you can just sign up through the school no, or what? No, no, just talk to the coach. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so how do they contact it. you guys? They just go to the high school? Go to the high school. Know? They're, at, they're at the high school anyway, so they can. Oh, oh that's true. Yeah. They can talk to some administrators and yeah. they can tell you, oh, go yeah. talk to Kaylin Hall. Go talk to Coach Hall or Coach Knudsen or whatever it may be. Okay, okay. Yeah. And we use a war room, so we have a calendar that we have all of our information on. So. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. I'm so excited. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's pretty good. And um, let's, let's taste this. Yeah. I think it's kind of hot, but it yeah, looks amazing. It's look at hot. this. Yeah. This is beautiful. So, oh, look at the potato. Look, yeah. I'm going to taste the collard. This that's is a right. collard green show, but we're eating a few things here. Mm-hmm. 
Get grit some cheese and yeah. collard greens. Not bad for a couple of minutes. Yeah. Oh, no, that's good. Yeah. I actually like the texture. Yeah. Maybe I don't want mine cooked this long. You gotta cook them. I got <laughs> Gotta cook them. I em. like this texture. But the, oh, the texture's good, but hey. Oh, my goodness. This is so good. Flavor. Yeah, mm. good stuff. Mmm. Yep. Mmm. Not bad here, Jim. I love it with the grits and them. Like I said, combinations. Oh, I forgot we got chicken to put out here, but that's okay. We'll put out. Yeah. <laughs> so you good. can serve this like this would be amazing to have with some like some fried chicken or even chicken tenders. You can just get yeah. already made or whatever, yeah. or chicken nuggets or yeah. just pork chop. Pork this chops. would be a good yeah. pork chop. We do pork, pork chop chops and grits also. and this and this. Uh huh. Oh, the sweet potatoes do taste good when it's been simmered a long mm -hmm. time. And then the greens, this is so good. And this is beautiful. Yeah. Mm. Oh, good life. It's good so good. combination. Okay. Good stuff, guys. Mm. You tell, shout out to your family. Yep. Shout out to your family. Shout tell me Holly. all your kids. Holly. Holly. I love Holly. Boss lady. <laughs> Boss lady. Uh -huh. 30 years. Mm. Five kids, KJ, mm. Jaron, Dawson, Kyson, mm. and Taya. Mm. Yeah, so. Natea. Four, soon to be five grandkids. KJ oh. got three of them. Fine. Kingston, Sutton, and Rome, and mm -hmm. Jada, and oh, uh, they're also the unnamed uh, future hall will yes. be coming in March. Oh, and so June exciting. and June. So Who we do got, you know? Uh, is the boy or girl yet? Do you know the gender? Boy. And a boy. So Jada's. Mm -hmm. I mean, um. Jaren's having, having a boy. Oh, yeah. so cute. Oh, girl, she looks. She kind of looks like um my little granddaughter. Yeah, no, it does. You know she the kids when the, our kids are growing up with your kids, they were. They always said they were cousins, and people really thought that yep. they were cousins. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. And then they, then they mm -hmm. meet Steve, and they go, that's your dad? <laughs> <laughs> All right, where'd he come in, right? Yeah. Mm. But no, it's been great. I mean, Jada, we got, uh, uh, we got Kinsley, who's mm -hmm. KJ's wife. Yes, and yes. And then uh, we got Brienne, who's Jaren's mm -hmm. wife. So mm -hmm. family, family's great. Now we just mm -hmm. got to get a couple of other of them married, and hey, away <laughs> we go. Oh, hey. There we go. Shred the, shred the about hey, Dawson. Hey, they're all so single. Like Dawson and Dawson and Kyson are both single, ready okay. to mingle. Huh? <laughs> yeah, 24 and They're 20, athletic, 21. they're handsome, they're so uh, fun. Hey, They've they, got great dad. I don't know about that. All I know is they're, they're, they're much better men than I am. So, no, yeah. So you're good. so good. Yeah. You're such a good job, Keelan. Mm. You've come a long way. A lot, yeah. I hope so. Uh, you know, for your background, you have, we mm -hmm. didn't talk about this, but you had huh? a pretty rough background. And, I had but a background. look at how positive you are. Don't do no good not to be. What do you yeah. do, right? You, can, yeah. you can complain about it, you can make something yep. of it, right? And here you are yep. in Spanish Fork TV yes, on the sir. cooking show with June. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, June. That was good delicious. Job. That was good, good job. Yeah. We'll have to come back and do fried chicken. That yeah, yeah. so yeah. fun. Yeah, we'll Thank you so much, Very you guys. Welcome. Very welcome. You guys, go make this. And until next time, happy cooking. Happy cooking. <laughs>